Hey everyone and welcome to this new lecture on a new topic and this is about linear inequalities. We'll be starting with this topic. First of all, in this today's lecture, we're going to talk about linear equations and inequalities in one uh, variable. After that, we're done with this, we're going to go towards two variable uh, linear inequalities and that we're going to talk about uh, in graphically and otherwise as well. So linear inequalities, uh, I am pretty sure you guys have heard this term before, uh, even if you haven't, so you don't have to worry about anything. We're going to be starting off with the really basics of equations. We're going to talk about uh, simple equations first and then we go when then we're going to go to linear uh, inequalities and I'm going to take you step by step into what uh, these uh, equations are and how do we solve them and uh, what we can infer from them. So basically, we know that any equation or inequalities are basically relations between two quantities. Uh, an equation does not have to be quadratic. It does not have to have a square or a cube in it. 2x is equal to 3 is an equation. In fact, 3 is equal to 3 is also an equation. Uh, so this is, this is basically the first step that I, that I said we're going to take. We're going to start from the really basic of equations and inequalities. So this is what a definition of equation is, but I don't think you guys need to uh, memorize this. This was just for the, you know, so that we can start off from what we have left before. Start off from what you know, basically, not us, basically, what you know about equations. So that you any, if there are any gaps, so that are filled as well. So like I said, basically, 2x equals to 3 is an equation and 3 is equal to 3 is also an equation. So these are basically two types of equation. One is a conditional equation. 2x equals to 3 would be known as a conditional equation because it has a condition. Just like that over here, 2x plus 5 is equals to 9. Now this is known as a conditional equation. Since its truths, uh, it since its truth or false falsity depends upon the value of x. Just like that, 2 plus 9 equals to 11 is an equation, but this is known as an identity equation. Just like in the verbal example that I told you, uh, 3 equals to 3 would be called an identity equation. On the other hand, 2x plus 5 equals to 9 is a conditional equation. So this is just to get uh, you started, just, just to tell you what type of equation is which. You, and you don't have to memorize this, you don't have to uh, learn this for an exam. You just have to know that these are different types of equations. Uh, so that you know you can get some perspective in respect to uh, the equations one thing that i want you to understand over here is if you look at this conditional equation over here or even the identity equation in this the left hand side is actually equal to the right hand side i mean 2x plus 5 is the left hand side that is uh, basically we're drawing a line over here into this is equals to sign which is the symbol uh, over here which is used to indicate an equality so this equality sign has a left hand side which over here is 2x plus 5 and a right hand side which is basically 9 just like that, this quality sign has 2 plus 9 on the uh, left side, hand side, and 11 on the right hand side. Now, thinking of this, I want you to continue into the next one. Now, over here, in this slide, you know that the left hand side is equals to the right hand side. So, this is e uh, indicating equality. Now, we are here to talk about linear inequalities. So, if it comes down to inequalities, we're not going to have an equality sign. We're going to have an inequality sign. There are different symbols to represent inequality. Uh, we know what equality symbol looks like and this, uh, this is this two dashes over here. This is equality. Now if you put a uh, line through it, it, basically crossing out the equality sign, this basically means that this is an inequality by which means that 3 plus 2 is not equals to 4. Now 3 plus 2 is not equals to 4 because 5 is not equals to 4 but it does not necessarily have to be in an identity equation. You can also have equations such as 2x is equals to 3 can also become 2x. 2x is not equals to 3. Now the, this is the most basic form of an inequality. Now there are many other ways of uh, uh, representing inequalities. There are many other symbols of representing inequalities. So this is where you put the sign of either equality or inequality. So when you have the sign of equality over here, you're going to have two dashes. When you have the sign of inequality over here, you can have these symbols as well. Now these symbols represent basically uh, different things. Uh, for example, this symbol, first symbol over here is going to represent greater than. Now, this, if we put this symbol over here, this would basically mean 3 plus 2 is greater than 4, right? You, I hope you get that. I mean, the sign with the open mouth over here, the side with the open mouth over here is showing, going to represent the larger uh, amount, uh, larger number in this equation. Just like that, we have another one with the greater than symbol and an underline between it. This basically means is greater than and equals to. 
now of course then this inequality cannot support that if you have some other uh, value of x let's just say 3x is equal to 4 in that we can have 3x is, is greater than 4 or 3x is greater than n equals to 4 which would basically mean that if you want to find out the value of x uh, then there will be a certain value in which x would be greater than 4 and a certain value in which x will be equals to uh, that particular value 4 by 3 that is in the equation that I am telling you right now verbally just like that there are many other uh, symbols over here we have the less than equals to symbol uh, if you were to have 2 over here and not 3 so that would basically mean 2 is less than 4 and just like that we have a less than and equal to symbol for an inequality. We will be seeing this more in the slides that come up after this. So we talked about what an inequality is but we haven't talked about what a linear equation means. What does it mean to be linear? Basically linear equation one variable the thing that we are studying right now in this topic is any equation which can be written down as in the form of ax plus b where a and b are real numbers constants and a is not equal to zero which basically means this that you need to have an x in the equation that would give it the form of a linear equation now if you have ax plus b this would give basically x plus 7 is equal to 12 over here we know that a is equal to 1 since in algebra we don't write down 1 so if you have an equation like this in the form of ax plus b is equal to something it doesn't necessarily have to be zero it just has to be something so just like in the example over here x plus 7 is equal to 12 then you can say that this is a linear equation in one variable uh, one variable being x over here so uh, this is the definition of linear equation in one variable we already know what the uh, definition of an inequality is of course the equation that you see uh, on your slide right now is not an inequality since it does not have a sign of inequality uh, it just has an equality sign so we basically means that left hand side is equal to the right hand side but we know I was using this example to explain to you what a linear equation is since it can be represented in the form of ax plus b we know that this is a linear equation let's move on so this example that we have see on the uh, slide right now 4x plus 2 equals to 10 now this statement can either be true or it can can be false now if we substitute the values for the variable that we have that is x equals to 1 then 4x plus 2 is going to become if we substitute for 1 into x we will have 4 plus 2 is equal to 10 that means this value is false this would basically mean that 4 into 1 plus 2 is not equals to 10 now just follow this example right now and uh, I'll let you know why I am uh, basically uh, showing you this example on the other hand if you substitute 2 over here we get 4x plus 2 is equal to 10 4 into 2 is equal to 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 that would basically give us that would basically give us the equation that we had right now which would basically mean that this certain equation is true so 4x plus 2 is equal to 10 just like that if you look on the slide right now we see an inequality over here we talked about the less than uh, symbol for inequalities over here we have x minus 4 is less than 3 now if we substitute any value for x over here let's just say if we substitute uh, any value uh, let's just say we substitute 6 over here we get 6 minus 4 is true because 6 minus 4 is going to be 2 2 is less than 3 on the other hand if we substitute 10 over here in, uh, for x we're going to get 10 minus 4 as 6 the value is going to come out to uh, come out to be as 6 and 6 is not less than 3 so this answer is false now the reason why I told you all this is because this is to show you that the any particular equation is going to have a solution those solutions are basically going to be called as the solution set of those equations we might use this term over uh, in the coming slides but basically till now we were talking about what is what does it mean to be an equa linear equation in one variable what does it mean to be an inequality the symbols used in inequality and uh, so over here we have the example of a solution to an inequality the first one that we saw now how do we solve inequalities over here we were just guessing it we were just substituting any number random number into the equation to find out uh, different answers to the equation but there are basically three ways three simple ways you don't have to go into the complexity of this I am just introducing things that's why I'm taking such small baby steps otherwise it's really straightforward I'm pretty sure you can do it in one single step with the examples that I showed you right now but we have to look at these uh, simple examples so that we know how to solve these inequalities 
So the first method that we're going to see is the guess and check method. As the name says that one basically guesses a number just like we've been doing till now and we substitute it inside the equation. And uh, basically if for an inequality to see if the answer is true or not. Now the example of this is going to be this. We have an inequality over here. X minus 12 is less than 4. Now x minus 12 is less than 4. What you can do is you can try to find out the answer is you can start substituting different values of x. Now you have if you substitute 18 over here you're going to get 18 minus 12. That is going to give you 6 which is not less than 4. So no, you know that this way uh, that the answer is not going to be 18. x is not going to be 18. You can also see another thing that since the answer is 6 we need to go below this. So we decrease the substitution that we do. We put in x to 17. That way we're going to get 5. We're going to get 5 is less than 4. Once again, it's not true. 16. If you substitute 16 for x, we're going to get 4 is less than 4. Now that is not true. Had the symbol of inequality been less than and equals to, then yes, one, one of the answers would have been true. One of the conditions would have been true. But then we move this since it says since it's only less than 4, we know 4 is not less than 4. 4 is equals to 4. So we're going to go below that. We're going to decrease the uh, amount number uh, x and we're going to uh, substitute 15 instead. And now we see that the answer is uh, 3. So 3 is less than 4. So then the answer we know that the answer is uh, less, x has to be something 15 or less than that. So we substitute another value just to see it. So just to confirm it. And so we substitute x is equal to 14 and we get 2 is less than 4 as well. So this we know is the answer to this question that the inequality x minus 12 is less than 4 is true for all values for x which are less than 16. Therefore solution set of the given inequality is x is less than 16. One of the ways that you can do is basically this is a very long method of solving this, uh, solving this question. Now the thing is had it been a simple equation x minus 12 is equal to 4. You what you would have done is that you would have taken 12 on the right hand side or you could have added 12 on one side and 12 on the other side and you would have found your answer that is x is equal to 16. Just like that we will be solving the inequality as well. You can do the same operations for inequalities as well. Uh, of course you do these operations for the equality symbols of the equations for the equations with the equality symbol that we have already uh, that we have already done. Over here, we're going to do the same thing for the inequality as well. So rather than substituting all of these values over here and wasting your time in an exam, what you can do is you can take 12 on this side or what you can do is you can add 12 on this side and add 12 on that side. Either way, whichever way is makes sense to you is the same. The answer is going to be the same. Basically, that's just two different ways of the same thing. So what, what's going to happen is the sign is not going to change. The symbol is not going to change. What you're going to do is x is less than and you take 12 on this side. So 4 plus 12. So that will basically give you x is less than 16. Just like the question answer. This is like the question that we solved and the answer that we got. x is less than 16. So the easier way to do is you take 12 on this side and you get the answer to this question. Let's take a look at another example. x plus 3 is equal to 7. Now how do you solve this? I mean just like the previous thing that we saw I told you that just like we solve equations we can solve of equality we can solve the equation of inequality we take 3 on this side and we substitute it from 7 so we get x equal to 4 you could have done it in this way as well the substitution method as uh, it has been solved before but that would be your waste of time uh, you would be wasting your time so rather than doing that we do it by this we just take the simple way out and we just move three on one side we uh, keep x on one side and all the other on the other side and we get the answer to this question the second method is also just another way of uh, for another way for you to understand this you don't have to do any of these methods i'm just explaining to the explaining these method methods to you so that you know you know what your options are maybe one thing clicks for you and the other does not so over here we have the cover up method it's basically the same thing you cover up the value of x and then you try to guess the value uh, of what x could be you just cover up x so x plus 9 is equal to 15 is the example over here you cover the value of x you cover x over here you think what you can substitute instead of x and you will get the answer now this you don't have to do this you, you don't have to substitute anything over here 
you just have to take 9 on the other side and you can solve this example just like that we have uh, this is a pretty basic uh, an, uh, method of solving the equations uh, we know better ones we will go to the last one that we are going to cover in this and that is basically uh, working backwards in this method you reverse the procedure of uh, the equation that is used to make an equation what you do over here is if you start from the left side you look at the equation over here 2x plus 6 is equal to 14 so we have x over here since we are talking about linear inequality linear equations over here one thing is certain that there is all there is always going to be an x with a non zero value uh, so non zero constant so over here the value constant is 2 so you start with x you times 2 x times 2 is going to be 2x then that equals 2x and then you plus 6 in it and then that equals 14 you get the equation answer the equation now of course if you look at the arrows how they're going you see that they minus 6 over here the reason they minus 6 over here because they're taking 6 on this side and then you divide it by the, then you're going to get 8 then you're going to have 2x equals to 8 then you divide it by 2 you get the value of x that is going to be uh, 4 so just like that this is the third way of uh, solving these equations but I would say to you my suggestion to you is uh, that don't worry about any of these methods that we used over here uh, what you're supposed to do is solve it like any other equation that you would solve whichever method is uh, works best, best for you don't solve it by the quadratic formula because you know how could you this is a this is not a quadratic equation this is a linear equation the power of x the degree of the equation is one you don't have a quadratic equation with you so uh, this is pretty much it for today's lecture. I just wanted to reuse these concepts of linear equation and linear equation in one variable and in what is what does it mean for an equation to be uh, not to be equal, not to have an equality sign. So this is pretty much it. We we'll, I'll talk to you next uh, once again in another lecture on linear inequalities and hopefully I'll see you there. We'll continue further uh, with this topic. Thank you very much.